I hope you know this is a lovely home. I really, really admire it. Wait a minute. Look at that. Is this table your seance table? Whoa. That was you that made that sound? Could you do that again? Um, I just heard that chair move. It's a female voice. It said like, who are you? Are there any children in here? You don't have to be scared. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Tonight, I'm going to be investigating an old historic village with multiple haunted buildings. There's an old haunted tavern, there's an old haunted mansion, and there's even an old haunted church. I'm going to be investigating alone, and I have the keys to every building here. If you are new here and you haven't already, consider subscribing and liking the video if you enjoy it, and comment your thoughts on anything that goes down. I was in the mansion earlier, and I heard a thump sound that was loud as hell. I was just filming B-roll, and unfortunately I wasn't recording at that time, so I did not catch it. But it startled the crap out of me. I was the only one in there, and I'm going to be the only one in there tonight when I go back over there. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the place, and then we're going to get straight into investigating. Bonanzaville is a museum featuring old historical buildings from different facets of North Dakota. It is speculated that some of these relocated structures still carry supernatural energy from their past. So basically how I'm going to do this video is uh, I'm going to tell you about every single location as I go and then I'm going to investigate it immediately after. And this is where I'm going to start right here. In the old train shed sits a 1930s era coach where there have been sightings of a phantom train conductor. Unexplained tapping noises have also been heard vibrating the windows. This photo taken by an employee may have captured the infamous conductor. A faceless figure can clearly be seen wearing a hat and uniform. Got a K2 meter. This detects spirits and I'm gonna see if I can communicate with any that may be in here. If there's anybody in this coach, my name is Ian. And I'd just like to communicate with anyone that may be lingering around in here. If you're sitting in this seat right here, could you reach out and touch this green light? That's in my hand here. All it will do is detect your presence. It won't harm you in any way. If there's anybody here in here with me, could you walk down this aisle? Just walk up to me. Stomp hard. I want to hear your footsteps on this floor. I heard there's a man that haunts this train. Who are you? Are you a conductor? Could you appear in this window in front of me? How about back here? Use whatever energy you can. Whoa. That was a tap on the glass. Did you just tap on that glass? Dude, I swear to God, it was on that window. That same window that I just requested for him to show. Was that you? Could you tap on that glass again? That was phenomenal. Could you do that again? It's like right here. I'm gonna test it, see if it sounds the same. Yeah. Oh. 
That was literally this window right here. Could you prove to me that was you? Because this is an old train car and I know it settles. So if you do it one last time, I'll know for sure it was you. All right, well, it didn't seem like much was going on in the train shed, uh, but you never know. I have to review and maybe something might have showed up. That's the old saloon. I feel like that building is staring at me. I'm gonna be going there later on, but for now, this is my next stop. The Telephone Museum has been known to make phantom calls to the other historic buildings. Whenever a staff member answers it, there is only dead air. There have also been sightings of a ghostly woman appearing and disappearing throughout the building. Hello? If there's anybody in this building, could you give me a sign of your presence? Could you show yourself? Somewhere in this building? I heard there is a spirit here that makes phone calls to the other buildings. If you are, if you can hear me right now, could you make this phone ring? Could you call this phone? If you call it, I'll answer it. We could have a little chit chat. Well, these phones are dead and they're not even on. I'm not even sure if you'd even be able to make calls with it right now. Could you move this? The, the rotary dial? Whoa, what the? Dude, that was a freaking straight up phone ringing in that room. Holy crap, that scared me. Did you just make one of the phones ring in that room? That was coming from that room over there. Oh god. Well, I suppose. Let's go answer it. I nearly jumped out of my skin when I heard this phone ringing. These phones were no longer in service, leaving this occurrence unexplainable. Holy crap. There's like multiple phones in here. I have no idea which one it was. If you made the phone ring, could you do it again? Which phone was it? Was it this one? Hello? Dude, I have no idea where this freaking came from. That gave me serious chills. How could that happen? There's like literally no way those phones would have rang. And I'm like super jumpy is going to happen again. Because I know if it happens again, I'm going to freak out. Hello? Could you speak through this phone? Who called that phone earlier? voice recorder up to it. A faint whisper can be heard on the voice recorder. I cannot tell if it is actually coming from the phone or if it's in the room with me. Either one is an eerie prospect. My next stop was the Brass Rail Saloon in Page Hotel, said to be one of the more haunted buildings. Established in 1889, it was once a place to eat, drink liquor, be entertained, and stay overnight. It is also speculated that brothel work took place under the table. The spirits of the saloon and hotel's past are still said to reside within these walls. Voices of the dead and unexplained noises are said to be common occurrences. The second floor in particular is said to have a heavy atmosphere 
and is a hotbed for paranormal activity. This photo taken down the hallway captures a ghoulish face peering out from one of the hotel rooms. Is there anybody in this saloon tonight? Enjoying a drink? Hey bartender, what would you recommend? If you're back here, could you move one of these bottles? Oh! Okay, I heard that. Is that you sitting at one of the tables? Could you make that sound again? That was you that made that sound? Could you do that again? If there's anyone in here, I invite you to come sit with me. I just wanna to get to know some of the People that are here, I hear that there's a lot of spirits in this building. Could you walk up to this table and sit down with me? I mean, I didn't bring any cards or anything, but I mean, if you've got some, I don't know if you can in the afterlife, but feel free to sit on this table here. Whoa. Um. I just heard that chair move. Holy moly. You can clearly hear the chair in front of me moving by itself. However, I unfortunately was shining my infrared light in the camera's view, inadvertently making the chair impossible to see. I did not capture the chair moving on my handheld camera either. However, I was about to document some of the most interesting communication I have ever received from a spirit. Did you just sit down? Here. I'll put this next to you. If you just sat down, could you touch that green light? Whoa, what? Oh my God. Thank you. Wow. I'm gonna reach into your space here. I just wanna feel you. Oh, wow. Dude, it is colder over here. Could you touch that green light again? Damn, dude. Holy I am literally sitting next to a freaking ghost right now. Are you a male? If, you're a, if you are a male, could you touch that light? Yes. Whoa. Would you like to play a game of poker? Yes. Oh man, I would love to play a game of poker with you. I mean, I sadly didn't bring any cards or chips or anything. I kind of wish I did. Are you aware that this place is shut down? It's no longer a saloon. Are you aware of that? Or am I wrong? Is this place still open? From your perspective, is this place still running? Yes. Wow. Wow, that is so interesting. That's interesting that for him, it's open, but yet he can still interact with me. That is, my mind is kind of blown right now. Can you see me right now? Yes. Wow. Do I look solid? So I'm gonna tell you this right now, and I, this might sound strange, but I can't see you. You are invisible to me. All I can see is you touching that light. Can you see me fully? Do I, am I like a full person to you? Are you still there? That seems like he went away. That was so interesting. He can see me. 
but I can't see him. And from his perspective, this place is still a saloon. Like, that's, that's what he said. But yet he can still see me. And this is just a, it's a museum now. It's not a saloon. Dang, that was some of the craziest interaction I've ever gotten on that thing. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Jesus. I haven't even got up here, I already heard something. Hello? So far guys, this floor is so much creepier than any area I've been in so far. I thought I uh, may have heard somebody down here. Hello? Is there anybody in here? I might have heard somebody in here. Is there anyone in here? Oh. 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 oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna run. Did you just tap on that bed? Daylights out of me. Holy moly. Dude, that was a freaking voice. I heard it so clear on this voice recorder. Oh, it was a female. It was a female voice. It said, like, who are you? I heard it. It sounded like, who are you? This woman's voice was so vivid, I was almost convinced it was a real person. Yet, as you can see, I am the only one in this old hotel. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to freak out earlier. It just kind of caught me off guard when I heard you. I definitely heard your voice. Could you speak again? And by the way, my name is Ian. Where are you in this room? on this bed if you're on this bed could you move the blankets I, I overheard that brothel work used to take place here are you uh, no disrespect but lady of the night Are you touching this bed? I keep hearing you. Whew, wow. That was a heck of a string of activity. Jeez. That woman's voice was so clear on here. I still can't believe that. There's no doubt in my mind I was not alone in that room. And I'm not sure who that was. Man, I just feel like a cold breeze just passed me. Did somebody just go in front of me here? That's just like a wicked chill I got there. Just seconds after I walk out of the room, a mist-like form appears from thin air.
I can't help but imagine this being the spirit of the woman getting up off the bed and passing by me in the form of a cold breeze. Were all of these events the same spirit? And was this spirit indeed a lady of the night? Dang, I'm still coming down from the experiences at the hotel and saloon. This next place, this mansion, I've got a pit in my stomach about this one. The Houston mansion was built in 1881 on a bonanza farm by David Houston, an inventor, farmer, and poet. His wife, named Annie, was a well-respected musician known widely as the North Dakota Songstress. In life, David patented the roll film apparatus that would eventually be purchased by Eastman Kodak. In 1906, after getting lost outside during a blizzard, David would tragically pass away within the home from a brain hemorrhage. Employees and visitors alike are convinced that David and Annie's spirits still reside in their humble abode. It seems that David's spirit in particular takes joy in frightening away unwanted visitors. His shadowy apparition has often been seen pacing the hallways, and his ghostly voice has been heard muttering the words, Get out. In one of the bedrooms on the second floor, an indentation will mysteriously appear in the pillow, as if someone were laying in it. Some speculate it to be the bed where David passed away. The spirit of Annie has also been heard playing phantom organ music throughout the house from thin air. David? Annie? I hope you don't mind me visiting. Could you pose for a photo? While doing photography around the mansion, I captured this ominous, shadowy aura floating over the stairs. Surprisingly, I did not notice this event, as I would have had quite the reaction. In the photo taken afterwards, you can see the aura has completely vanished. Was this the spirit of David keeping a close watch over my visit in his home? A pretty interesting tidbit about Annie and David is that they were actually spiritualists when they were alive. And it is said that Annie conducted seances on this very table. I've got a couple of dowsing rods here. And uh, I'm going to see if I can communicate. Annie, are you here? Whoa. Did you see that? Dang. Annie, if that was you, could you separate them? Whoa. Right away. Thank you. I take it you are familiar with these? Yes, wow. Annie, is it true that you were a spiritualist? Uncross the rods if, if, that, if that's true. Yes, wow. I heard you were a musician as well. Is that true? Yes, I didn't even have to ask to cross them. Wow, Annie, I'm getting like serious goosebumps right now. Annie, is it true? Is this table your seance table? If it is, could you uncross the rods? Wow. Holy moly. Just to confirm, Annie, could you point these rods towards your seance table? There you have it. I'm gonna move these rods up forward again. Annie, is it okay that I'm here? Are you okay with me visiting? If so, cross the rods.
You're not crossing them. <laughs> Annie, do you want me to leave? Whoa! Dude, I just freaking heard a whisper. This clear and articulate voice of a woman comes right out of nowhere. I believe that I was communicating with the spirit of Annie, and this was her voice inviting me to leave. is a particular closet that I was told about and it is supposedly the creepiest area for a lot of people. They, a lot of people don't like going in there and they think that David maybe developed photos in there. So I'm gonna go into that closet. But I'm gonna shut the door and see what happens. Okay. I could definitely see the creep factor. David? If you don't mind me entering here, is this your closet? Well, so far so good. David, is this where you developed your photos? It's pretty amazing that you invented the film roll apparatus. I mean, that's pretty ingenious. You got anything to say about that? Oh! Is there somebody up here? Okay, I thought I heard something up here. This deep and gruff man's voice sent shivers down my spine. I immediately felt a strong presence and the atmosphere became heavy. After analyzing the audio, the voice sounds like it is saying, All right, I'm coming up. I hope you don't mind me coming up. I hope you know this is a lovely home, and I really, really admire it. Oh my God, every step I take, Up here? What did what is what is it that you said? I didn't understand you. Could you tell me what you said one more time? So this here, this is the bed where the imprint shows up, and it looks like somebody's laying in the bed. So let's see if there's an imprint. Well, it doesn't really look like it. David, did you die in this room? I heard you died of a brain hemorrhage, and I'm very, very sorry to hear that. Are you the one that leaves the imprint on the pillow? Could you do it right now? that What is that? Mom? Somebody down 
downstairs? What the heck is that? It's like a jingling sound. What the heck is that? It's down there. Wait a minute. Look at that. Dude, those sticks are freaking moving. Oh, hell no. Hell no. How is that even possible? Look at that. You're freaking moving like crazy. And that's her staying unstable. That's even more terrifying. Oh, God. How is that even happening? There's no air in here or anything. Look at that. They're still moving. Oh, what? Dude, this camera just died. There is absolutely no explanation for the crystals on this lamp to be swaying back and forth so rapidly. To top it off, when I approached the table, both of my cameras suddenly died despite being at full battery just moments ago. After this happened, I began feeling lightheaded and decided not to go back into the mansion. Oh, well, that was intense. That was the first time I ever had two cameras die at the same time. That was freaking nuts. It's witching hour, and I've got the church. I mean, at least it's the church, right? Built in 1890, the South Pleasant Church is said to be haunted by what can only be described as shadowy children. They are often seen darting around the church and are even said to leave behind dusty footprints. Hello? Are there any children in here? I just like to be your friend. My name is Ian, and I just like to be friends with anyone in here. Would you like to play? Why do you uh, stay at this church? Where are your parents? Hello? I think I finally heard something. Okay, I think I heard somebody over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, an orb just freaking went flying. Was that you? Are you running around? Amazingly, I managed to capture this light anomaly on my camcorder. Could this be one of the ghostly children that are said to dart around this very church? Could you appear like that again? Oh. Sorry. I didn't mean to curse. I'm in a church. Could you do that again? Okay, I'm coming over. You don't have to be scared. Oh, whoa, 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 Dude, something just peeked over that. Dude, there's somebody up there. Dude, it looked like a little child, like a shadow. It was like peering over the balcony. I see a childlike shadow figure looming over the balcony, almost as if it were looking down at me. However, when I pointed my camcorder towards it, it had already disappeared. Hello? Are you up here? Little boy or little girl? I saw you. Oh, oh. Whoa, I just 
just felt something pull on my jacket. It was like right behind me. And it was real low, like a little child. Did you just tug on my jacket? I think I just felt you. It's okay if you did. Wow, what a hell of an investigation that was. Holy crap. Every building just had its own story and they definitely offer more than just their history. Wow, this is just a wild night. I'm just, it's gonna be one of those nights where I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and think it was all a dream. I highly recommend you guys check out Bonanzaville if you have the means. Uh, it's here in Fargo, North Dakota. It's a fantastic place, lots of cool history. You get to check out the buildings. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment your thoughts on all the crazy crap that happened tonight. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. I am the Midwest Ghost Hunter. I hope to see you guys on the next investigation.